Oh, since you left me and she went to my I'm in pieces, bits and pieces. Uh, something's wrong here, son. Something's really wrong here. Do you know what I like about you? You're really quick, aren't you? Eh? You've been out of shaving lumps off this. Look, it's worse. Mm. <laughs> it's worse. How's that window been since I fixed it? Closed. I ain't been out to open it since. <laughs> I don't like it, son. I do not like it. Ah, look, look, I, I, I like it as it is, you know what I mean? I, it's terrific like that. I like it closed. Just a quick gander at it. Oh, no, now, come on out of me way. The past is that storm. The way you go on, you think you didn't trust me or something? Trust ya? Trust ya? Has Sooty got an hand up these tookers, eh? <laughs> Has Pinocchio got a wooden one? <laughs> Hello, Jim. It's only me. Oh, I ain't got none. No, what? Whatever you wanted to borrow. Got no eggs, no bacon, no tea, no sugar, nothing. Even the mice have done a runner. Oh, you know, you can be very hurtful at times, Jim. Very, very hurtful. <laughs> but I like it. Oh, kinky lady. <laughs> I don't like it, Jim. I do not like it. Take the notice of him. He loves it, then he? He loves a bit of the old black leather and diving off the wardrobe. Know what I mean? Black leather? Yeah, all that stuff. You know, them whips that crack, crack, all that stuff. Yeah, cracks, yeah. Blooming hundreds of them. Yeah, see? I don't know how Mum manages him. Loads of cracks. Big enough to get your thumb into. Ooh. Now, now, Dad, you know what the doctor said? <laughs> Plenty of cold showers and deep breaths, mate. What are you on about? Hey, I mean, the old street's splitting apart here. Oh, uh, that big old bird a few doors down saying she had the same problem. Did she say anything to you? Who, Miss Opwistle? Oh, see what I mean? Loves him on the big side. Uh, no, think... no, she ain't said a dicky bird to me. Uh, well, I think I'd better pop along and see her, because I've got this funny feeling. Pound to a penny, she's got them the same. Mm. Yeah, I expect you've got the same and all, darling. Cracks all down your side, but don't worry, I'll get to you later. <laughs> have no idea your dad was like that, Jim. Oh, no, not a lot of people know that, you know. We don't let him near the sun. Oh, the heat give him a funny turn, does it? <laughs> no, it's the sight of all them big birds. <laughs> He'd do anything, you know, we'll get round Mrs. Ockwistle, quick gander at the sun, and whew, he's off. Page three, the sun. Oh, that sun! Oh, you read the sun, do you, Jim? Oh, this kinky street run in the family. Wonder, end, wonder, it? Oh. <laughs> look, look, besides, look, I mean, no one actually reads the sun, do they? I do. Yeah, but wonder, look, besides, besides that, you know, my dad's problem. Listen, I was, I'll tell you the truth, I was taught that sex is not good for one. No, but it's good for two. <laughs> now, now, wonder. Oh, you read me, Jim London. Oh, God, oh, leave me out. All right, it. stand by your bed. <laughs> Sorry, Jim, didn't realise. Didn't mean to blow the whistle. You get on with the game. Oh, nah, it's all right, Ron. Come in, mate. You're all right, pal. Jim, it's cool. You know what I'm saying to you? I know how it is. A married chick whose old man's doing time. Don't worry. It's safe with me. Chick? Who are you calling a chick? Well, think about it, love. It could be worse, couldn't it? <laughs> anyway, uh, you're right, Brian. No, you're right. You're right. You're right. You, if, with you here, safe right now. Know what I mean? Huh? Well, I've been called many things in my time, but never, never a chick. Especially by a two-bob barman who couldn't pour beer from a boot, even with the instructions written on the heel. <laughs> I'll get the hump, love. What did you want? If you don't know, pal. <laughs> Do you mind brain damage? I mean, wonder, was there something you're short of? <laughs> I simply came... I simply came to ask for your help with my front door. It is stuck and I can't get it open. But I can see you're busy, so I'll seek help elsewhere. Well, you should have said, shouldn't you, when my dad was here? Look, I'll get him to pop round your house after he's done with going over Miss Hockwistle's. I should think by the time Miss Hockwistle had finished with your dad, he won't have the strength to open a tin of sardines. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll ask Mr Moggs to help. Dames, eh? Uh. <laughs> All right, Humphrey Go-Kart. What do I owe this honour? <clears throat> Have a gander at that, then. What do you reckon? I named that and won. Eh? I think that's a watch, sir, would I be right? <laughs> I mean, how much do you reckon? Well, that looks the business. It is the business, my old cocker. Look! Day and date in 15 countries. Shockproof, dustproof, waterproof. Works in 200 foot of water, you know. Here. I've got a geezer coming round later with two dozen more, just like that one. I'm buying them in for a ten or a lump and knocking them out for fifteens. <laughs> I shall be quids in. Yeah, I've heard that one before. Who's the geezer? Now, now, Jim, you know the rules. 
Ask no questions, get told no porkies. Know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, well, it sounds a bit iffy to me, mate, I'll tell you. And if you, I'll tell you what, if you all think they're trying to flog one of these to me, you can forget it, mate. I'll need another watch like a drowning man needs a bag of cement. Jim, <laughs> my old mate, I'm not looking to flog you one. Listen, I'm going to make you an offer you can't refuse. Oh, yeah? Yes. <laughs> I am offering you half of the action, me and you, 50-50, straight down the middle. How's that for an offer? No. <laughs> but, Jim, we can't lose. They'll go like hot cakes. Yeah, but they've got to go like hot watches, are not they? Jim, we'll be quids in. Oh, blimey, shockproof, dustproof, waterproof. Yeah, knowing your luck, it'll probably catch fire. <laughs> oh. Pound notes, Jim. You're turning down pound notes. On your bike. Yeah, just like I thought, Jim. She's got them as well. Hundreds of them. <laughs> she might have, not she? Hundreds of what? Oh, I wouldn't like to say, Brian. Horrible things they are. <laughs> cracks. Scorping great cracks. Ooh. Everywhere they are, mate. Horrible things. Horrible. Mine have got worse over the past week or so. Yeah. How about yours? Oh, out of control, love. Rampant. <laughs> yes. I fear the worst, I'm afraid. Yes, them uh, doodle bugs is to blame. Oh, they're bad, they are. <laughs> right, well, uh, I'd better be going. See you later. Yeah, I'm just making a pot of tea, Brian. Do you want a cup or what? No, no thanks. Uh, I've got to get back, got to open up. ta -da. What a strange man. Have you any other problems besides cracks, Mr London? Hey, me again. Oh, have fun, did we? <laughs> fun? Fun? I'd hardly call it fun, darling. This is a very serious business, this is. Ain't it, love? Very. Going to cost you, I can tell you. Yeah. Cost? <laughs> I know it's not your fault, Jim. These sort of things are passed on in the genes. Filthy beast. <laughs> Mr. Marks is unable to help me with my front door, Jim. Oh, well, I said we'd help you, wouldn't I? Don't worry. Come on, Dad. Give us a hand. It's Mr. Marks who needs your help, Jim. I think Mr. Moggs is well past any help I can give him. <laughs> Come on now, let's get cracking. Haven't you had enough for one day? <laughs> well, I'll just give him a knock. Come on, Arnie. It's no good doing that, Jim. Why ain't he in? Oh, is that you, Arnie? <laughs> Very good, Dad. You sound just like Arnie Moggs in. <laughs> never said a diddy bird. Psst. Psst. Come then. I'm in here. I can't get the blinking door open. Hello, Arnie. What's the problem then? The door. The blinking <laughs> thing's stuck. I can't open it. Oh. I can't get out. No, don't worry. We'll try it from the outside, Dad. Give us a hand, dear. <coughs> oh, no, no. It's no good, son, no. We need a bit more weight behind us. <laughs> Arnie, have you tried climbing out the window? can't open it. Oh, I fixed it for him last week. Yeah. <laughs> God, you men are useless. Oh. Useless. Oh. I bet you enjoyed that. One. Oh. Two. Fellows. Arnie, that's what's called having the full weight of the Residents Association behind you. <laughs> Hot noon, Squire. <laughs> Oi. Yes? Thank God for that. I thought you were stuffed. <laughs> what do you want? What do you mean, what do I want? I want to find out how my gaff is, don't I? Mm. Your gaff, as you call it, is falling down. Happy now? Falling down? Mm. I thought that would please you. <laughs> yes? Raking shawls, Mr. Galen, sir. Raking shawls. It's the only hope. Just as I thought. Filthy hovels are all the same. Oi, not so much of the hovel, pal. I'll have you know these are respectable gaffs built in the days when I knew how to build houses. Yes? Will you advise him, or shall I? 
I wouldn't dream of spoiling your enjoyment, Mr. Galen, sir. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. When next you go out into your pokey little back garden, don't, whatever you do, slam the back door. I, you mean, mm. whoosh, all fall down. <laughs> <laughs> whoosh. <laughs> He's not a full quid no, him, is he, eh? He's 19 bob short. Ain't been the same since he broke his field light. Fell out of his hands, it did. Dropped down a blooming great hole. Sounds painful. <laughs> Uh, Miss Hockwistle and I have decided to call an extra special meeting of the local residents association for five o'clock this afternoon to discuss the present problem. Yeah. Marvellous. We all sit round chatting while our gaffs fall down. No, no. The situation's not that bad. Let's not have alarmist talk. What are you talking about? He's just told me our gaffs are falling down round our ear rolls. That's right. But don't you worry about a thing, son. Cos one Sid, Sid Foot, yours truly, gets his raking shawls up. Nothing will fall down. <laughs> Best raking shawls in the world I got. You wait till you see them. What on earth is he talking about? Props. Blooming great big wooden props. He's going to use them to prop up your front. <laughs> well, anything's possible, I suppose. Of course, these doodlebugs is to blame, you know. Doodlebugs? Yeah. May 1944 it was. I remember it well. I was just walking along the streets when I heard it. And it stopped, see? And I dived down, see? Dived for cover, see? And a few seconds later, whoop! Down it came, just up the road from here. Was it close to you, Mr. London? Was it close? Was it close? Was it ever? <laughs> In May 1944. Yeah, I remember looking up and I could see the writing on the side. Good Lord! What did it say? If you can read this, you're too close. <laughs> Silly. And what did it say then? Well, how the hell do I know it was written in Kraut, wasn't it? <laughs> Amazing. Blooming miraculous. Uh, well, it, blo it just came down just up the street from here. Blew me right up in here, it did. And you think all our present structural problems are a result of it? Stands to reason, doesn't it? Yeah, well, you could be right. Right, well, that being the case, I think we should consult the town hall records before the meeting. A good idea. I do think you are very brave, Mr. London. Well, it's me training, and it? So me throat. I do think you're very brave, Mr. London. <laughs> well, I to know, in May 1944, you and my Uncle Bert was doing 12 months in a remand home for flogging on the black market. Who <laughs> told you that, eh? I'll break their necks, whoever told you, pulled his like that. I'll rip off their arm and hit them over there with a soggy in there. Come on, who told you? Who told you? I want to know. It was Mother. <laughs> yeah, well, that's different, isn't it? Yeah, I thought it might be. Yeah, well, it must have been 1943 then that I got blew up in here then. Yeah, yeah. You see, Arnie, back in them days, 15-year-olds were prime targets. Weren't they, Daddy? Look at it. I mean, look at it, Ron. Isn't it disgusting, isn't it? Aye? Aye? Doris. Doris. Um, How'd your meeting go? All right? Don't ask, mate. Get a scotch. Dirty beast. <laughs> What's up with that woman? Same as me, probably suffering from shock. It's gonna cost us a small fortune to get our gaffs fixed up. Don't you worry, son. It won't cost you half as much as them. Because I've got all the tools, all the know-how. <laughs> you just leave it to me. Oh, well, make it a large one, Brian. Well, it's an insurance job, isn't it? No, insurance won't pay out for war things, will they? Anyway, who's got insurance? Blooming doodle bugs. I've got to get my hands on some money a bit rapid, haven't I? Cheers, Bri. Here, you know that, uh, it's that bit of business still on offer, you know, about the watches? As it happens, Jim, yes. Why, do you want some? I've got to get my hands on some money a bit rapid. Right. There, uh, there is one small problem, though. Ernie, do you mind? Mind what? <laughs> Mind what? I'll leave. He's all right. Dad's all right. He was an early starter, wasn't you? He was on the black market up until 1944. <laughs> What's the problem then? Well, the thing is, I don't really want to do the business with the geezer in here. Know what I mean? Yeah. 
Uh, well, no, no, I don't know what you mean, Bri. Too many ears, mate. Too many eyes. <laughs> what we do then? Well, when the geezer arrives, we take them straight round your gaff, see? Do the business there, okay? Yeah, okay, yeah. Can we trust this geezer, though? Jim, it's me, remember? Do I look like a mug? <laughs> do I look like the sort of geezer you can mess with? It's cool, kiddo. Nobody wets up my leg and gets to shout about it. <laughs> oh, well, I, uh, I shouldn't think you'd find too many eyes on that brown here. Oh, baby. Uh, if you see any ears or eyes about, squash them, right? <laughs> yes, him. Evening. Right. There's some fun, right funny geezers about round here these days, aren't there? <laughs> well, they look all right. Of course they are. Working 200 foot of water, they yeah, do, right. Pally. Yeah, well, if we don't sell them, I know someone who's going to be down there testing them out. <laughs> no problem. Here. Here's my off. It's off. All right. <laughs> Right. Nice doing business with you, gentlemen. Oh, hey, uh, what's going on here? Oh, no, it's only the door stuck. Just give it a yank. <laughs> you don't hang about, does he? Well, that's the way to do business, isn't it, son? In and out. <laughs> We're going to be on a nice little earner here, my son. Going to earn bundles. <laughs> Freeze! Blimey, it's Rambo. <laughs> Any gents? Detective Inspector Humber, robbery squad. This is Sergeant Paddy. Oh, my God. Well, uh, <coughs> thanks for the tea, Jim. Uh, glad to know you're feeling better. <laughs> oh, I said freeze. It's all right, Sergeant. It's all right, Sergeant. The gentleman isn't going anywhere. Mm, thanks a million, pal. Thanks, mate. Now then, gents, you've just purchased a load of hot watches. I don't try and give me any old fanny, because I've just arrested the tea leaf as he was leaving this. This filthy hovel. Well, steady on, Chief. Well, it's a very serious offence, you know, lads. Very serious indeed. Oh, oh, please, mister. I didn't know they was all okay, honest. <laughs> no, of course you didn't, my old son. Of course you didn't. <laughs> right then, Sergeant, confiscate the goods. <laughs> what? what happens now, then? We nick... Well, it depends. On? Well, to be honest, my old son, I've got the man I've been after all these years. He's outside, well and truly nicked. <laughs> the local sub aqua club, they're happy, they've got their watches back. <laughs> and all you two mean to me is a load of extra paperwork. Oh, yeah. That's what I am, Governor. A lot of extra paperwork. I am, in fact... A pain in the bum. <laughs> yes, Governor, I'm that and all. <laughs> yes. Uh, well, I might just let you off this time, with a warning. Have you got the more, Sergeant? There's one missing, Gov. Dear, dear. On the other hand, of course, it might suddenly develop a sudden liking for paperwork. Won't you, Sergeant? Oh. <laughs> oh, look! <laughs> I, I forgot it was there. <laughs> right then, we'll uh, be on our way. Oh, and uh, consider yourself lucky this time. I mean, next time I might just be in a bad mood. Right? Right. Yeah, so. Oh. You're a real gent, you are, Governor. Straight up. A real gent. <laughs> I know. All right, Sergeant, come on. <laughs> Any more bright ideas, Mr. Don't Mess With Me? <laughs> There you go. All safe and propped up. What do I do with them now? Paint them? Can do. Hang a few flower baskets off them and that. Soon get used to them. <laughs> hey, they look the business, don't they, eh? Nice coat of paint, they'll blend in a treat. A few hanging baskets. Or a few hanging barmen. <laughs> Now look, leave old Jim, it weren't my fault, was it? 
As it happens, I think we had a right result. It's a good thing I know how to talk to the old Bill, otherwise we might have had a nicking on top. <laughs> yeah, it's a good job you know how to talk to the old Bill, Brian. I didn't know they was looking, mister. <laughs> I've a lot of paperwork, I and you're a right toe rag, a right shoe shine. No, me that... younger brother's a copper, you know. In the CID is. Tell me last night how you arrested a little team of con merchants that are doing the rounds on yeah, the manor. Yeah, very you? good, yeah. Look, that was all an act, wasn't it? The old Bill love all that. I know the game backwards, don't I? I know the game backwards, don't I? God, <laughs> yeah. No one messes with you, do they, eh? No one wets up your leg. Now, it seems this little oh. con firm, right? <laughs> Finding some old mug. Flogging him some bent gear, and five minutes after, two other geezers turn up at the mug's gaff, right? <laughs> Make out they're the law. <laughs> and then they nick all the gear back. <laughs> Good little scheme, that, innit, eh? <laughs> Jim, old Jim, now turn it in, leave off. The A, you bleed yourself. Thank you.